In previous videos, we looked at equilibrium from a quantitative perspective, looking at the equilibrium concentrations and the equilibrium constant. We've also looked at the value of the equilibrium constant to tell us something about whether the reactants or the products are favored at equilibrium. In this video, we're going to introduce one of the most important principles in chemistry, especially related to equilibrium. That is Le Chatelier's principle. We'll use Le Chatelier's principle to help us understand in a qualitative way what happens when a system is no longer at equilibrium. In short, Le Chatelier's principle says the following. If a system at equilibrium is disturbed by a change in temperature, pressure, or the concentration of one of the components, the system will shift to counteract the effect of the disturbance. Let's look at how Le Chatelier's principle applies when we change the concentration of a reactant or product. If a system is at equilibrium and the concentration of a reactant or product is increased, the reaction will shift to consume the added substance. However, if the concentration of a reactant or product is decreased, the system will shift in the direction that will produce more of the substance that was removed. This image demonstrates Le Chatelier's principle when it deals with changing the concentration of a reactant or product. We represent the reaction of N2O4 producing two NO2 molecules. In the first square, we see that we have an equilibrium concentration of NO2 and N2O4. And then we add some NO2 molecules to the system. Once the NO2 is added, the system is no longer at equilibrium. What's going to happen since the system is no longer at equilibrium? As the second square shows, the system will move in a direction that will consume some of the added NO2. This way, the reaction will shift from more NO2 on the product side to produce more of the N2O4 on the reactant side. Let's see if we can use what we just learned to make predictions. In this question, we're given the system 2NO gas reacting with one mole of O2 gas to produce two moles of NO2 gas. And we're asked which direction will the system shift first if O2 is added or second if NO is removed. In the first situation, we're adding O2, which is a reactant. Le Chatelier's principle says the system will shift to counteract what we did or to remove O2. Since we added O2, the system will try to remove O2 by shifting to the right to use up O2 and produce more NO2. What about the second example where NO is removed from the system at equilibrium? If NO, a reactant, is removed, the system will shift to the left to produce more NO and to decrease the original concentration of NO2. By now, you should be able to describe Le Chatelier's principle. You should also be able to predict how changes in concentration of reactants or products will affect a system at equilibrium. 